Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, a vlog by Art and John. Hi, Art and John. <laughs> hey, Art, it's good to see you again. Um, and hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. So, Art, what I want to talk about today is taxes, because as seniors, taxes can kill us. Mm. But specifically, I was looking back through um, all our videos that we have, close to a thousand videos. And you remember Leslie Eskelson did oh, sure. a bunch of videos real estate on guy, real estate. Guy. Yeah. Yep. Great, great uh, real estate agent. She did a bunch of videos on real estate. One of them mentioned something that I don't think is unique to California, but it, and if it is, it shouldn't be. And that is that, and I, I'll just paraphrase here, and that is that California has over the years instituted rules for that benefit seniors for when you sell your house. Mm. And I don't know the details. You can look them up. Um, but essentially what it is, it allows you, let's say you're, I don't know, pick a, a pick an age, 62, and you're going to downsize and you're going to sell your house. It allows you to carry forward the tax base that you were paying for your last house. Why? Is that advantage because they only reassess the assessor only comes by and recesses your property every ten years or you know whenever you put on an addition an addition or mm. add a swimming pool. So meanwhile, if you don't do any of that, you're sixty two years old, you're ready to downsize. Your tax base is probably ten years old. Mm. You move into a new house, a condo. It doesn't matter whether it's smaller or bigger. The point is it's ten years later, your taxes are going to be a lot higher. So as I understand it, and I, I urge everybody to look this up, uh, California's rules allow you to carry for your, forward your old tax base, which basically means you're paying less taxes, real estate taxes. Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, new house. John, I think the, the reason uh, for that, because uh, I seem to recall having actually read about it when they instituted it about 15 or 20 years ago in California, was something like, uh, there was a shortage of housing and they wanted to get that big house that seniors no longer needed back on the market. Oh, okay. But the seniors yeah. weren't selling the houses because if they moved, let's say they, they bought a house for a hundred thousand dollars and it was now worth a million dollars. Right. Well, they're still paying the, because of proposition 13 in California, they're still paying the taxes that they paid when the house was only a hundred thousand dollars. So let's say it was right. for argument, say 500 bucks a year. But a million dollar yeah. house would be ten thousand dollars a year. So sure. if you move to a condo, even if it was the same amount of money, you sold the house for a million, bought a condo for a million. Why would you buy the condo? You would maybe have fewer rooms and give this house over to a young family. So that was the encouragement to say, well, go buy yourself your condo. Yep. And you'll only pay your five or six or a thousand dollars a year. And the people who buy the house that you just vacated will pay the current tax rate. Yeah. So yeah. I think it had something to do with, but but you really bring up a great point, John, in that, first of all, there are some people who actually move when they retire to states that have little or no property tax. A lot of people do, right? yeah. yeah. Because, because if they wanted to downsize, or even if they just wanted to go to another area, uh, they're gonna wind up paying a big hit on property taxes if you live in California, New York, or other high, Property sure. tax and states. In, and income taxes, too. Right. A lot of people move to states with no income tax. Uh, correct. And yeah. generally speaking, a state either has no income tax or no property tax, uh, but it doesn't have, or sales tax and some combination of one of right. those. But property tax, particularly in high tax uh, uh, property tax states, where they use the property tax to fund most of their, uh, the fire department and uh, schools and things like that. Sure tend to keep rising as they, they build those new facilities. So, but, but, so here's the point. Rather than have to move from California to New Mexico, or not that New Mexico is a great state. I've been through it a number of times. I even got a traffic ticket there once. Uh, so I'd still like the, the, the state. But I know the people, Las Vegas, I don't think has a property tax. So that seems to be a popular destination for uh, retirees in the Southwest. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and in Florida, I think uh, they either have no or low uh, property taxes. So a lot of uh, uh, sun, sunbirds, winter birds uh, go from yeah. New York and they move to Florida. Yeah. So the point is that I think that wouldn't it be nice, though, 
if seniors who, who uh, still want to support their communities uh, maybe don't have their property taxes eliminated, but maybe no matter where they are, since they maybe require uh, far fewer services, uh, like uh, uh, they're not bringing kids, young kids into schools and stuff like that. Right. Right. Uh, and I can think of arguments against that reasoning as well. But we're, you know, we're living longer, uh, more productive lives. We have, in general, a more restricted income. And maybe one of those benefits can be that uh, seniors pay either reduced or no property taxes. Right. And I think so that I, uh, as an advocate I, I, for us, us and uh, maybe every state, you should go look at your laws, yep. see what you're entitled to, and then go for the big enchilada. If you're paying yeah. property taxes, get rid of them. Yeah. I, and and quite frankly, if you these are kind of obscure things, you know. You, you don't even think about them until it comes time to all of a sudden sell your house, uh, downsize or or move or whatever, retire. Um, but quite frankly, it's the kind of thing that if it doesn't exist in your state, you really need to get together uh, with other seniors or organizations and lobby your state representatives to change the law, to Benefit the taxes have to benefit seniors. I think are it's important that seniors can afford to live and not have to move, not have to become destitute with all these extra taxes and things. Mm. So, Art, I think you agree. We both benefited from uh, the laws in California, and uh, we hope that everybody can find those same kinds of benefits in their state. And if not, you should ask for them. And quite frankly, we are a, a voting block of a hundred some odd million people, people yeah. 50 and over. And um, uh, we should work on doing what's fair, what can still support a society, but also takes care of us uh, for having not only contributed for 50, 60 years to the tax bases around us, but because we're living longer now, we'll unlike our, our our grandparents, our parents and grandparents who lived right. to their maybe their 60s or early 70s, many of us are living well into our 80s and 90s. So we're continuing to contribute for a much longer period of time to that tax base. So therefore, in recognition of that and in thank and gratefulness to to the the old Eskimos of us in the tribe, <laughs> okay, the wise persons in the tribe, the people who have just set the the the, the tone for a better world, uh, we should be rewarded for that. And if not, we should be a, a power group. And uh, <laughs> uh, but as John said, important thing is find out what's available to you because you may not even know that there are benefits to you uh, yeah. of either keeping your tax base or having reduced taxes, uh, both in property taxes and other areas and uh, be an advocate for things that will benefit us that we, uh, if not earned, it would be the right thing to do. All right. And, you know, as a last parting uh, note, I will, uh, I just want you to look into the notes at the bottom of the video. I will post uh, the link to uh, the Celebrating Act Two video that Leslie Eskelson did mm. about uh, selling houses for seniors. Uh, great stuff. Uh, you, ought to, you ought to read that too. Thanks for watching. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.